Welcome to My Life Japan, the show about the foreign experience in Japan. I'm your host, Alan Welch. If you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and bell notifications. Because if you don't, I'm gonna be all. Fear. There's nothing to fear but fear itself, so face it. Others say fear is your friend and protects you from dangerous situations. But which is correct? Today's guest finds herself asking these exact same questions. So let's begin. I've always been a bit of a worry wart. It's cancer, isn't it? Common cold. Malaria. No. Whooping cough. Black plague. Wow. Okay, I can be a little bit overcautious, but at least I'm functional. I mean, I did get it together enough to travel abroad, which is something most people never do. I came over as a jet. The jet places new teachers at schools throughout Japan. Like most people, I was hoping to get placed in a city like Central Tokyo or Osaka. And like most people, a lot of the assignments are in really country areas. Don't get me wrong, they're beautiful places with beautiful people. Just don't be expecting. Every year, the BOE or Board of Education reserves an apartment for the new foreign teacher assigned to the village. That was cool, but the problem was there was no sewage system. So once a week, a special truck would pull alongside each apartment for、uh, pickup. Also, to get hot water, there was this gas box on the wall that I had to turn on. It would always make this. Ominous silence before it ignited with this thunderous boom that scared the living crap out of me every single time. Terrifying. Well, it's my first week in the village, and one night I come home, but something doesn't feel quite right. There's this strange odor coming from my kitchen. I smell gas. This is a gas leak. Gas. There's a gas smell. Is everything okay? Am I gonna blow up? Boom. Unfortunately for me, it was after hours. So ALT の人が ALT さね。はいはいはい。That's when I pulled it back and thought, here I go again, blowing things out of proportion on another flight of fancy. The smell didn't even smell like gas back home, and here I was letting it interrupt my yoga. My first week in Japan, and thanks to an old gas line and my stupidity, I basically almost blew my ass to oblivion. Had I not opened the window, I probably would not be sitting here today. True story. And there you have it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And I will see you on the next episode. Johnny.